Hello everybody, welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to demonstrate using the uh, tension jig that I built for my x carb When I got uh, the x carb initially I had the same problems everybody else did about how to adjust the belts. and Ultimately I messed around with them and found something that works for me. And I'm sure that's what most people did. However, uh, as a, just a project, I decided to build this jig that will help me set the tension on my belts for my x car. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use the jig. I was going to do a video on building this jig, but uh, my camera kept messing up and I couldn't get the video, so I apologize for that. But I will show the video now for how to use it. Okay, this is the left Y axis rail. And I'm going to show you how to set up the jig and check the tension on this belt. So, here we go. So, the first step is to take the jig and where the aluminum stops here set that right on the top of the rail of your Y rail okay and then hold it in place and then take a big clamp and just temporarily clamp it on there <clears throat> now you want to make sure that this clamp is further and far enough away from the top of your rail that it doesn't interfere when you lift your belt so I've intentionally let the tension off of this belt so that we have an inaccurate reading. So, okay, so the first step is to push the plunger down. Then you grab your belt and put it up over the little bottom part. And then you just let this go. And you can see that the indication here is, uh, well, actually for the, for the, scale here I made some longer lines which is kind of the sweet spot where I want to be and some shorter lines just as indication of how far away from that area I am and you can see here that it went up two notches above the highest uh, notch on my scale there that's telling me that the tension on this belt is pretty low it's not within the range that I want it to be in so I'm going to go ahead and test the other rail, the other Y rail, and the X rail, and then we'll come back and adjust this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is the right hand Y rail. So I'm going to go ahead and install the jig. So push it down to the top of the rail, rest on that aluminum, and a big clamp just to hold everything in place push down the plunger put the belt over the top of the bottom of the plunger and then release and you can see here that the indicator hang on let me get a pointer so that I can make sure you can see that okay sorry about that so the indicator here I don't know if you can see that on the video. The indicator here is showing one, two, three, and about a half notches from the top. And that's about where I like for mine to be. That seems to give me a pretty good uh, operation. So again, that is the le uh, right hand uh, Y rail, the tension on that belt. So to release the belt, you just press the plunger down, move the belt off, and then let go of the plunger. Uh, one other thing I might mention is I have my uh, gantry basically in the home position so that the gantry is all the way to the front and all the way to the left so that I have you know the least amount of uh, are the most amount of belt exposed not under the rollers so from here I'm going to go to the Z or the excuse me the X axis and we'll measure that belt. 
Okay, here is the X rail. So I'm going to go ahead and mount the uh, jig and just set it right on top of the rail, kind of in the middle. And then put a clamp on. Make sure I've got plenty of clearance under here so it doesn't interfere with the belt. Then I'm going to push down the plunger. Let the belt slide over the tab and just release. And you can see here, one, two, three, and about a half. So the tension on this X rail belt and the tension on the right handed Y rail are about the same. So now that we've adjusted those, or now that we've measured those and found those to be okay, I'm going to move back over to the left hand rail and adjust the tension on that belt until it is about the same as these two. So I'm going to set that up and... Okay, so I'm back on the left-handed Y rail and as you can see uh, we're two notches, almost three notches above the sweet spot here where I want it to be. So now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and release this belt. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to adjust this. Move my camera a little bit. To adjust this. So the first step is I'm going to just loosen this screw here and put this in. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, maybe two turns. One turn, two turns. Okay, I'm going to snug this back up. Alrighty, now let's come see where we are at. Okay, push the plunger down, lay it on the shelf there. Okay, it looks like we're right at the top of the sweet spot here. So, I like my belts a little tighter than that. So, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it again. Just let me get my camera set up here. So, again, just loosen that a little bit. And I'm going to give it about two more turns here to tighten it one there's two okay I'm gonna snug that back down okay. go over to the jig okay press it down lay it on the thing okay we're about two uh, notches down so off camera I'm gonna give it about one more Turn, tighten, and then we'll check it again. So just one more turn right there. Just this back down. So we're right at three. I'm going to tighten it just a little bit more. I like mine just about three and a half from the top there. I'm going to give it about a half a turn. Okay. So that is three and a half. That's exactly where I want it. So now all those belts have a very similar tension and this particular reading for me is about where I like to have my belts set. It seems to work really fine. I don't have any trouble with the belts skipping or being too tight or too loose. So let me uh, reset everything and we'll do a recap and that'll be all. Okay, so I just want to do a quick recap. So we checked the Y rail belt tension and we found the left hand one to be a little bit 
off. Uh, it was not tight enough. Uh, we checked the X-rail tension and the X-rail and the right-handed Y-rail were very similar in tension and are about where I like them to be. Then we went back and we adjusted uh, the left-handed Y-rail and set up the tension on that belt to be the same as the other belts. So I know this might be a little overkill, but uh, it was a fun project to build and uh, got to use my uh, x car to build a tool that uh, is actually really useful to me. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it here. That makes uh, that makes setting up the, uh, the tension on your belt really easy. So if anybody's got any questions about how I built it or or uh, whatever, feel free to ask. And I appreciate your time checking out my video.